guys so after I installed the uh, fluid we noticed there was a couple of leaks right in there on top so we're gonna have to open the uh, roof manually so uh, what we do is with an allen wrench first you gotta take the pressure out it's already out the pressure and then we have to unlock unlock the uh, roof from here and I'll tell you what uh, Allen wrench we need okay forget that let's find it right now please. okay hold on so we were able to get this open and remove the uh, bottom roof and we notice a big leak on this piston right here so we have a, an issue right there that's where the problem is at I don't know if that's fixable or not, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove these uh, uh, Allen wrenches right here that are, are, are on top. And there we are using a uh, T30 torque. And as you can see, there's three of them. All right, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna go ahead and proceed uh, by removing. So, by looking at this vehicle, I'm pretty sure that's one of the major issues this thing has. I'm not gonna tell you because it's damaging. Yeah. So, all right, so I'm gonna remove all these three and I'll come back to you. You know. Okay guys, so what, what I did in here is that we removed the uh, piston out of the place and what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to remove the little pin right in there inside, okay, with that we're going to attempt to do it. So, uh, Right in, inside, there's a little clip which is inward and it's really kind of hard to take it out. So we're probably going to have to drill a little hole for either right here or on the bottom. Just so that way we can push the uh, that pin out. Just got to make it right where it won't going to bother the uh, plastic. The gasket is on the other side. So... But we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. And I'm doing the hole right here. Okay, I can see the ring moving. You can see it? Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm, Alright. So I want you to guys to pay it attention where I made a hole now I can see the clip from there now what I am gonna try to attempt to do is to put one of those screwdrivers watch screwdrivers push that clip and remove it okay that's the whole idea of this hole just to push the little ring out once we get the ring out then we can work on the inside and see if we can fix this uh, problem okay so uh, <laughs> after a while we were able to get the uh, the ring uh, you know the uh, piston out luckily um, and uh, now we're gonna see if we have the uh, correct uh, thing to change it the o-ring okay All right, guys, so I have the shaft and I got the new seal that I got directly from Germany. I got the whole kit right here and it comes with a bunch of... Uh, no, we didn't get a kit. We got... A bunch of... Yeah, it's a seals. kit with seals. It's a kit with seals uh, for all the uh, 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 shafts. 
So now there is two ways that uh, we might be able to put the uh, front, the front seal, which is the green one right there, in here. And, this one's and uh, one of them is to uh, to remove that pin from there, which is a little bit the harder way. Or another one is just to put the uh, gasket on hot water to see if we might be able to stretch it out through the. Uh, shaft okay so right now i'm heating up water on the microwave and let's see if that works hopefully we don't damage the uh, seal and everything comes out like the way i want to all right so i got it on hot boiling water right there i'm gonna pull it out and i'm gonna try to install it on the uh, on the shaft Alright, so we're going to try to stretch it out. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm going to try it one more time. It's okay, we can heat it up again. This you is the new one, okay? Hopefully it doesn't damage it. What? The seal. That's what I'm saying, maybe it's the blue one. No, no, it's this one. It's just that it needs to go through here, but we got to take this. stretched now and it's not going to be tight enough I don't think that was such a good idea oh man oh I'm getting this I'm disarmed he's out All right, guys. So I um try to get that pin with a center punch, and it's not working. I don't think it's a pin. As a matter of fact, it seems like it, somebody threw some solder or something like that. Now I don't have any instructions on how to do this, so I'm gonna have to drill that out to see if I can uh, pull that shaft out of there, so that way I can safely put the uh, the new uh gasket on it so I'm gonna use a 530 seconds uh, uh, drill bit and I'm gonna see what happened I'm just gonna go slowly So I drilled a hole and apparently it went through. Um, so let's see if I, by tapping it, it can come out. So once I drill that out, I'm gonna use a 316 uh, um, center punch or uh, tap. And I'm just gonna tap it until uh, the shaft comes out slowly. And bang, it's out. It's out. All right, I want you to see that. It's completely out. I got it. All right. So now let's see if we can still work out. All right, guys, before I continue with any uh, uh, procedures, I'm, I'm waiting for another part. Um, I can feel some kind of roughness when I move this uh, piece of gasket somewhere around here. I can feel it rough. So before I put the uh, gasket, the new gasket, I want to file that out. 
And what I do is that I have this uh, cloth, uh, cloth uh, file. Now this is quite expensive. I use this a lot, a lot, but you might find it uh, somewhere else. It's a, it's a Scotch Bright, and uh, as you can see, it's just cloth, and it's really fine, and and uh, you know uh, that polishes the uh, shaft and gives it a really shine without damaging uh, uh, um, anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I want you to see this I'm gonna write the part number right here in case you might need it however I bought this on Granger's but this roll is about 50 bucks however like I said I use this a lot uh, so you wouldn't be able, uh, you wouldn't buy this just for this but you might be able to find some pieces of it okay all right guys so I put the shaft on a vise and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put the uh, cloth and just clean it out all the way around like this until until the shaft uh, runs smoothly okay so that's what I'm gonna do okay guys so I have everything in here on this package and I'm gonna give you a brief description of what have I done so far so this is a shaft this is it's called the piston or ring and I don't want you to mess with it uh, that one usually stays like that okay unless it's broken but I doubt it so uh, to remove this as I show you in the video I had to drill those sides and I popped that out and I order a kit on eBay okay and the kit well it comes with little tools that I'm not gonna need and it comes with a new gasket a new o-ring that we're gonna put on because this one you're not gonna be able to hold it no more a new o-ring I mean uh, clamp it's a clamp it's made especially for this with an allen wrench so that way you can tighten it and the new gasket so I'm gonna put it right here okay I'm gonna send this back over there okay ah, so here this is the interesting part remember seal it has to be facing that way so we got to take that that out okay and then we're gonna have to put this but before I do that I want to put a little bit of oil on the seal to lubricate and make uh, uh, to make uh, to make it easier so I'm gonna use the same oil as the one the pump requires I'm just gonna get it a little bit on my fingers and I'm gonna get it on the seal and on the shaft a little bit of oil yeah so that way it lubricates on the entrance we have to pull that up more oil and it's time for us to stick the seal in there you go and it's in and uh, this is pretty tight that's what I want and then you see the flat part of the uh, spacer it goes like that okay. beautiful all right all right so we're getting there okay guys so by now you should uh, have uh, your allen wrench ready uh, we're gonna take the uh, set screw and we're gonna put a little bit of tiny of uh, Loctite uh, since I don't have Loctite you can use uh, regular paint all right 
the paint it does the same thing as 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 a loctite So we got the gasket in. Okay. Now we're gonna stick this in here. It went real easy. And then we're gonna put the spacer washer that it came with your your kit. Now we're gonna put the set screw back in here if you notice it's got two flat flat uh, size that's so that way you can fit perfectly in here and now here comes the the good part we have to use a uh, center punch to get this thing inside okay so what I'm doing that I took it outside I'm gonna use a screwdriver to drive this thing in. We have to uh, make sure the uh, set screw is done on the way, which probably is. First, that would be great if you put it on a vise, which I don't have it because I'm doing it at home. So I'm trying to go slow and I'm trying to stick it in the best I can, which whatever I have at home. Okay. So I got it in all the way. Okay. You can see how this thing is even tight. It's even tight right here. So I got it all the way in. Now I'm gonna put the uh, set screw back in inside with a bit, a little bit of paint, which is acts as a uh, Loctite, so that way you don't get loose and tie this baby. Tighten them up. There you go. All right, so I got it really tight. I got really tight. I don't think it's gonna go nowhere. And uh, I'm basically basically ready to install it on the uh, on the cylinder. Okay, guys. So there's time. It's time to install the uh, shaft back onto the cylinder. Um, make sure there is it's clean right there at the. Uh, um, entrance it's a little bit dark in here okay um, and uh, what I'm gonna do again is that I'm gonna put a lot more oil in this uh, the piston uh, seal and on the shaft on the new on the new uh, 
gasket that we just had on. Okay, so I'm just gonna load it with the oil. And I'm gonna try to introduce it. All right, guys, see if you are like me and by any chance you mess, mess up with uh, the piston ring or the piston O-ring. You don't supposed to touch it. I did and I messed it all up. So I had to order <clears throat> something that is it was going to work and I found it and I'm going to give you the exact... Um, measurement the, the measures for the o-ring the one that it, it needs and i just got them right now for ebay and this is the dimensions the dimensions are nine millimeters id inside diameter by 14 millimeters outside diameter by 2.5 millimeter tick or ring you find them on eBay. It's only about three bucks, twenty-four cents for quite a few seals. Um, hopefully, you don't mess up with that piston O-ring. Or if it's bad, well, you know that you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to get one of these rings. All right. And well, that will be real simple. All we have to do is put it on it and stick it inside right there and you can see it fits perfectly this is the perfect size uh, with this with this ring we do not need um, the nylon cover so all we need is this ring and that will be it so we got the whole set full again we are ready to install it and well let's see what happened okay okay all right all right all right guys so we uh put the ring o-ring on it and uh, i'm just gonna throw a little bit of oil in here like, like you can see with my finger so uh, we, we can lubricate this and we are ready to put this baby inside let's see how it works and there you go It's gotta go all the way. You have to push it. Yeah. Okay, guys. So with a screwdriver, you keep pushing it in until you get it, until you get the little plastic and everything inside. All right, just like that. It's still kind of there, Dad. It's stuck. I see it. All right. So we probably need a little bit more. Yeah, because then it's just gonna be there. And the straight light like that. Okay. Leave it like that. Just here, give it. Okay. So now we got aligned, aligned all the. Uh... This. Okay. 
we have to align all the bolts like this. Okay. And then. So with a screwdriver that it fits in the hole, try to align all the holes just like I'm doing right now. Try to center it. And once we got Oh, you want me to pin? the pin? Yeah. This is the tube. So once we got uh, a line. Does it go on top gonna, or the Yeah, bottom? if it goes on top, we're going to try to stick the pin through it it's hard what is it looking it's looking good it's, it just looks like you need to move one which way over there yeah over there or, or over here there it's going it's going it's going yeah move them around a little move it like back and forward yeah 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 do that do that keep doing that keep moving it I, yes okay and then the pin is so we got it on and then you get the lock. And then the Let me lock. Show them. That's what the lock looks like. I, I, oh, I don't. Okay. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. Okay. So um, then we're gonna stick the lock through the bottom, just like that. Oh man, it's a little bit tight. So you gotta be patient. And with a little bit of patience. <laughs> everything it can be done just like oh gosh oh, 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 oh. they're from cars that crashed there you go. okay so i pushed it and we got it on there all right so everything is looking good so now uh we have to obviously uh tie the uh put everything on this place with the uh, set screws cut. 530 second uh, Allen wrench. We're gonna try to align the uh, bolt. No, no, keep it. Yeah, here. You have to move it. It takes. Here, put it, try to put it, and I'll tell you how. It's because it's hard. Okay, let me... Isn't it cool? It's basically got two.